very high habit since a long time ago. But the sadness is due to the formation of some types of cakes. Let's start about cakes and biscuits. How they are composed? How are they composed? They are composed of three main substances. Flour, number one, number two, sugar, and number three, fats. As for flour, this flour, whether this flour may be from wheat flour or maize flour, flour contains a very famous type of proteins. This amino acid is called tryptophan amino acid. And this tryptophan, once we eat these cakes and biscuits, passes through blood to stimulate the brain to secrete certain substance, which is called serotonin. And this substance returns back to blood. And this is very important to any person for many reasons. Number one, it causes increase the threshold of pain. And the number two, it causes quietness for the person in order to be quiet and calm. This is the first component of our biscuits and cakes, which is flour. The second component is sugar. And once we eat sugar in cakes, we find sugar passes in blood and stimulates the pancreas to secrete insulin. And this insulin promotes and helps and increases the entrance of the amino acid tryptophan inside the brain in order to let the brain secrete serotonin more quickly, which is responsible, as I have said, for quietness of the patient from a certain point and for being decreasing the pain from second point. The third component of cakes and biscuits is fatty acids or fats. And fats are present in two main components. The first component or first type of fats, which is saturated fatty acids, which are present as solid in the normal room temperature. And these saturated fatty acids are very important because they may be caused maybe as a source of energy. This is number one. And also they can help absorption of certain types of vitamins as vitamin A and vitamin D and vitamin E and vitamin K. This is number two. Also number three, fats are very important in order to compo in the composition of nervous system and most of the nerves. This is the first type of fats which is saturated fatty acid. And the second type of fats is the unsaturated fatty acids which are present in the liquid state in the normal temperature in the normal room temperature. And these unsaturated fatty acids, such as different types of oils, oil, olive oil, or cotton oil, and so on,